Well, that's stuck. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today we are going to be working on my 2020 Ford Expedition. We're going to be rotating the tires and I'm going to show you how to reprogram the TPMS once the tires have changed location. So let's jump right into it. Let's pull her on to the lift. Cars on the lift, one thing I do, because I don't secure my lift to the ground, and because it's on Swiss tracks, I put the car in four low so it pulls onto the lift. If you don't, it just pushes and the lift slides. So I'm gonna put my spaces under there and just get the wheels a little bit off the ground. I clearly don't have clearance to work under this car on the lift inside, but that's also why I have this lift. I'll be doing a, a review on this lift pretty soon, but let's jump into lifting the car so I can get these tires off. There we go, first notch is on. Let's get the wheels off. All the wheels are unbolted, they're still on. But I don't know if you know this, there are four different ways to rotate tires. Depending if you have a front wheel, rear wheel, all wheel drive car and so on. I'll put a graph up showing you which one I'm doing because this is a four x four. But essentially, I'm gonna take the front two tires, switch sides and those go to the back. And then these rear tires just actually move forward on the same side they are. So let's do that. I'm gonna move this one up and take this one to the other side. Well, that's stuck. <sighs> Alrighty, now that the tires are in the same place, I'm gonna install them and then we're gonna get to programming the TPMS. It's so much easier having lag nuts and lot lag bolts. VWs are all lag bolts, so you actually need a wheel hanger. It's a nightmare. Alrighty, now that everything's switched, let's load the car down, talk these to spec. Let me find out the spec first, and then I'll show you the TPMS monitor. The torque specs are 150 pounds, so I'm gonna talk these up, jump in the cab, and then I'll show you how simple it is to reprogram the TPMS. If you've been following me for a while, you know I use Sonic tools. This is an example of a Sonic lug wrench. It's got a plastic uh, guard so you don't scratch up your rims. So that's what I use for this video. And then I've been using, I didn't get a Sonic torque wrench when I got my sets because I had this baby and it was relatively new when I got it. This is the Tecton uh, torque wrench. So links down below if you want to get any of these things. This one's uh, massive. I keep a smaller one in my camper, but this one's for the big jobs. Goes up to 250 pounds. So let's get cranking. Everything is torqued down. Now you have to take the car for a two minute drive. I'm gonna do five minutes just to make sure Then I'm gonna pull back into my driveway and show you what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm leaving my driveway. The tires uh, are still thinking they're in the right position but obviously they moved that's why you want to drive this car around for two minutes uh, one thing I also did you'll see when this uh, recognizes the tire pressure is I am getting ready to tow my trailer so I normally tow with 65 pounds in the in the rear and 55 up front so there we go it, it's already there so I started pumping my one tire up and then my air pump died so you'll see that was uh, one tire there is at 57 so that's why it's at 57. all right so what you wanted to do is drive around for two minutes above 20 miles an hour now you want to turn the car on without the engine turning on and you want to hit the flashes three times you see now it is in tire train mode if you hit that three times then it puts it in tire train mode so now you're going to go onto the left front tire and you're gonna let air out until it honks. 
Okay, so now that is programmed. Now it says train right tire. You got to work clockwise around. So now let's do the same thing here. Alrighty, now we know it's gonna want this tire because you're working clockwise. Alrighty, and now let's do the last tire and then we'll see what it says. Alrighty, it says training complete. So let's go enter, enter, enter. Alrighty, so those are the pressures. Obviously, now you're gonna wanna pump up your tires to whatever your desired PSI is, or whatever it says in the manual, depending on what uh, Ford you have. But I'm gonna pump mine up to 65 in the rear and 25 on uh, 55 up front. But guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If this video helped you, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tips. Until next time, guys, I'll see you then.